Okay, everybody, welcome to PowerShell. If you're dealing with Windows 2008 and above, uh, either offensively or defensively, you're going to be dealing with PowerShell. There's just really no two ways about it. Pretty much everything in Windows is going to be PowerShell based, things like SharePoint, things like Exchange. Your ability to do system administration is going to be heavily based on PowerShell. So again, whether it's defensive, whether it's offensive, you're going to have to deal with PowerShell. Now, as a hacker, you're really going to want to get up on PowerShell. It's going to give you the ability to do so much on a computer that you just really weren't able to do. Uh, I shouldn't say you weren't able to do it before, but you weren't able to do it as easily. So for me, as a guy who hacks into Windows systems, it's just so much easier now to use PowerShell to do what I want. Now, for as a, as a defender, I get to be able to look through log files and analyze log files and, you know, do analysis on machines so much better than before. So let's just dive right in. I'd say the easiest thing to do is just dive right into PowerShell. What I like to do is I'm in a Windows 7 machine. And I'm just going to go start. And now I'm going to run PowerShell, but I want you to run PowerShell as an administrator. For those of you who are familiar with the Windows command line, you can do all of your same Windows commands. Dir, CD. What's cool is you can also do some other things like the ls command. Now, all this is is just an alias. So if I type alias, and you guys take a look, you'll see that there's a boatload of commands. You know, the Windows command prompt for years was nowhere near as powerful as the bash shell. It just wasn't even close. So what's really kind of going on is the combination of the bash shell and Linux, and then scripting languages like Perl, Ruby, and Python, really just gave you a lot of power at a command line that you just didn't have. So what Windows did, which is actually pretty smart, they basically made PowerShell an infusion of the Windows command line, the old Windows command line, and C Sharp. I mean, that's at the end of the day, that's really what you're dealing with. So you can do so much more because, I mean, you're basically a full-fledged programming language. So every item inside of this programming language is called a commandlet. So when I did alias, you'll see that the clear command points to the clear history commandlet. And that's a PowerShell script that runs a sequence of commands that equate to clearing your history. <sighs> okay, now when we're getting started, the first thing that I want you to run is get command. Now, if you guys watch how I type it out, get dash command, when I hit my tab key, do you guys see how it finishes the command for me? So I've got tab completion, but what's also you're going to notice is the first letter and the second letter after the dash are going to be capitalized. So there is no slash question mark. So for those of us who came from a Windows command world, there is no slash question mark. You're going to do everything through the get command commandlet. So the get command gives a list of all of your different commandlets and their basic descriptions. So if you want to know what a command is going to do before it runs. So let's go ahead. Let's get help. And then let's get help on get command.
There you go. So you see basic information about commandlets. Get dash event log like this. Okay, so you have a commandlet called get event, but the one that we want to use right now is get event log. Okay, so the problem with get event is sometimes like you you're trying to type out get event log and you don't hit your tab key because or you hit your tab key and it spells out to event. You don't put the E for, I mean, the L for log. So uh, don't make that mistake. I've made it many times trying to type it myself. Get event log. Then you can say dash log name. So you can say what log you want. And then I can say, let's say, for example, the application log, which is what I'm doing right here. So I grab the application log. And now I'm going to pipe it. And I want to pipe it to export CLI XML. You're going to find that we use this a lot, along with its complement, import CLI XML. And then we're going to specify the name that we want the file to be called. So you want to analyze your system log files. Well, again, with PowerShell, this is just one line. Boom. So now it's going to run for a little bit because it's a fairly large log file. There you go. Okay, so the log file's done. And now if we want to read it, we use the type command, right? So I'll type dot slash app log. Whoops, there you go. Let's take a look at this sucker. All right, well, that's enough time looking at a log file. So I'm just going to hit Control-C, clear it. If I can help you learn about who we are, and hopefully, if you're willing to join us. This is InfoSec Addicts.